Terry Pilkadaris here, Tour Tip Tuesday. We are talking putting today. I've had enough of talking about the full swing. We are doing putting. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the accelerating of the putter. Now I'm gonna use Cameron Smith as an example for one, and I'm gonna compare it with one of my clients and show you what Cameron is doing and what my client is doing. So if this is you, this could be a good little video for you. Now remember, if you like this video, hit the like button, hit subscribe and the notification bell, you'll receive a video like this every Tuesday. Also at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a little special tip on how to improve your acceleration profiles during your stroke. Good little drill, you can do this at home or on the putting green. Here we have a client on the left that was stroking with his putting and I'm gonna compare him with Cameron Smith to give you an overview of what I would do with this client's putting. First things first, you look at the weight distribution of the client. Looks like the weight is back in his right heel, whereas Cameron Smith looks like the weight's even distributed 50-50 in his setup. Also the hand position, see how Cam's is slightly forward and it looks as though this client looks like it's back a little bit. You can see the difference where the putter shaft is going through. You can see it's closer to his right leg. And we'll show you the actual client stroke. As you can see in the stroke is a long follow through. Now, if we go with Cameron Smith, a little bit shorter and more compact. So I'll explain what I'm talking about in the length of stroke. We draw a line with the client as he swings back. The putter head is gone just outside his right foot and accelerates well past his left foot. Cameron Smith, ball position. Putter heads well past the right foot and stops just after his left foot. So what's happening with Cameron? He is accelerating the putter in the right parts of the stroke. So what's happening here? We need to accelerate in the backswing, which what he does, and then change direction and you accelerate to impact. And obviously once you hit the ball, you're hitting a soblet object, you're gonna lose the energy. So there's no need to force it to go through, which is what our client does on the left. So I've got a good little drill for you to show you how to improve that. And also at the end, I've got a little bonus tip for you to improve it that little bit more. So here we have a little training aid. So we've got a 10 foot putt here. So 10 feet, and if the greens are running at about 10 on the stint meter, you need to go back roughly 25 centimeters to that line, 25 centimeters through. And this is what we're doing with this client. So we're just matching up the little big back swing and follow through. This is gonna give you a little bit more consistent roll on the ball. So your distance control will improve. Now there's reference points for this. We're gonna make sure we're stopping in that yellow section. Now the little bonus tip, if you wanna improve even more and get control of that back swing, we put a little coin, like a 20 cent coin or a quarter, in the back of your putter. Now I've got a poker chip there. So as I swing back and in transition, see how the poker chip's fallen off? And then I'm going through. So I'll play that normal speed for you. You can see there's accelerating in the backswing, accelerating in accelerate here. This is gonna be a transition, accelerate down to impact. Once you get to impact, things will start to slow down. So if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. I'll endeavor to get back to you. If you're after a lesson, I am teaching on the app called Skillist.